Hey guys, I'm Mia and you're watching one of our USMLE guidance videos where we are revealing to you pretty much everything you need to know before embarking on the journey of fulfilling your dream to practice medicine in the United States as a doctor. The idea and the motivation to create this video series come from the fact that I am an IMG, which stands for International Medical Graduate, from the beautiful country of Bulgaria where unfortunately the USMLEs are highly unpopular and there is no information on the many opportunities that US has to offer to foreign physicians. As a result, I lost a good amount of time trying to figure things out, but as they say, better late than never, right? That's why I wanted to share my experience with you, so maybe my advices will make your life easier and help you plan accordingly before making one of the biggest decisions in your life the way I wish someone had helped me when I was first starting down this road or better to say up this road. I'll be discussing here things like basic information on how is the life in US really, how expensive is it, what are the people like, even the food, and continuing with legal issues like different types of visas, maintaining legal status in US in case you wish to come to the US to prepare for the steps, and of course how does the US medical system work, what are the US family steps, how to prepare for them, tips and strategies on how to match in residency and of course, is this all worth it? If you have already started preparing for the USMLE steps, you can of course check out our medical content videos where Raj and I teach you highly tested material that will help you get that phenomenally high scores on all three steps that you need and deserve. So you want to be a doctor in the US? Why not really? Here is what the most recent studies and surveys are predicting. According to the newest study done by the Association of American Medical Colleges released March 14, 2017, the estimated physician shortage by the year 2030 will be as follows. So why is this happening? Why there is such a huge shortage of physicians in the United States? Well, the primary factors are increasing of the population of the United States as well as increasing the number of older Americans. Between 1987 and 2007, the population of the United States grew 24% from 242 million people to 302 million people. The total US population is expected to grow by 12% by the year 2030. Also by 2030, the number of US residents aged 65 and older is expected to increase by 55% and the number of people aged 75 and older will grow by 73% during the same period. Also more than one third of the physicians in the United States will be older than 65 years in the next 10 years. Right now what's happening is that the American Association of Medical Colleges is trying to advocate for more residency spots, around 3,000 more residency spots per year for the upcoming five years. And even though the medical schools have increased the sizes of their classes, it still won't be enough to meet the demands of the growing US population and the number of practicing physicians. And here you can see the results from the 2018 match. They showed 16 consecutive years of growth in the number of first year residency positions offered through the match. In the 2018 match, 30,232 first year positions were offered, an increase of only 1,383 or 4.8% compared to 2017, and a cumulative increase of more than 9,500 positions since 2002. As a result, the United States needs desperately foreign physicians to fill out the remaining spots. And indeed, the ECFMG reporter for the match 2018 showed that the IMG matching rates are the highest in 25 years. Now having said that, that okay. Now having said that, don't think that it's easy to match and start residency in the United States. No, no. It's actually very competitive and only half of the IMGs that apply every year for residency match. Not all of us, only half every year. 
but as a matter of fact the numbers of IMGs that match every year have been increasing for the last several years and here's what the ECFMG reporter shows. Among US citizen IMGs 2,900 or 57.1% matched into first year residency positions, an increase of 123 over last year. The number of US citizen IMGs matching to first year positions has increased in 13 of the last 15 years. For non-US citizens, 3,962 or 56.1% matched, an increase of 148 positions. This is the seventh annual increase in the number of non-US citizen IMGs who matched. And this is the report from the 2018 match. On the other hand, all of the US medical grads match every year. If they manage to go through med school and take the USMLE steps, their job is 100% guaranteed. This of course comes at a price, because medical education in the US is very expensive. At the end of med school, the average medical student owes around $200,000 in debt. Now the IMGs, we don't have any debts, right? Supposingly. But we do spend a lot of money trying to prepare for the steps, applying for residency, etc. More on the financial issue, I'll be uh, talking in another video and also about the medical system in the uh, US. I will make another video for that as well. And here you are seeing the words of the ECFMG president and CEO William Pinsky from the 2018. The success of IMGs in this year's match demonstrates the importance of this talented and qualified pool of applicants for US training programs. The growth in available residency positions, particularly in primary care specialties like internal medicine, represents continued opportunities for IMGs interested in training in the United States. The words from the ECFMG CEO are very encouraging and sound very positive and this is the reality that, that's here in the US. But what is going to get you into residency in the United States first and foremost are your scores from the USMLE steps. Step 1, Step 2 CK, Step 2 CS and Step 3. And I'll be making separate videos for each exam to explain to you what they really are. The reality is that the IMGs, the International Medical Graduates, represent one quarter of the practicing US physicians right now as of this moment. So we are essential for the healthcare system in the United States. So if you really want to practice medicine in the United States, just go for it. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any comments or questions, just leave them in the comment section below. I do read every comment and question and I will try to answer as soon as possible to all of you to the best of my knowledge. Because I believe that we are all colleagues here and we need to help and support each other in any way we can. Please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and hit the bell button to receive notifications for new videos as we will be uploading many more. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.